Hello, YouTube. I've been making a lot of videos lately, and I thought maybe if I uh, stopped to take time to make a video that showed my face and a cup of coffee, it would give my videos more credibility. So, what I have today is I have a made in China Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MCE NA, which is natural and made in Indonesia of the same exact model. Made in Indonesia, made in China. And I'm gonna answer some questions that a viewer posted on one of my other videos about this model of guitar. I uh, don't have answers to all the questions, but I did my best. So keep watching and you'll see a comparison of the two. And uh, coffee, credibility, in all seriousness though, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get enough subscribers so I could start doing some live streams and uh, showing some of my techniques, some of the things I do to repair guitars, prepare guitars, uh, you know, kind of tune them, tweak them, make them sound better. And uh, if I could do a live stream, I think I could do some really cool stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, once again, hit that subscribe button hit the like, the share, the bell notification, and if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try to get those questions answered. Hello YouTube, back again with another comparison of the Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MCE NA for natural. Uh, what I have here is on the left, I have the Made in China, and on the right, I have the Made in Indonesia. Uh, the Made in China is 2018, the Made in Indonesia is 2017. Uh, had a uh, viewer that had several questions about these guitars. I uh, don't know if these are different woods or if they're just different colored woods. Uh, they are supposed to be spruce, which it looks like spruce to me. Uh, I think the main question was uh, maybe the backwoods because the backwoods are very different colors. But as you can see, I pointed this out in the last comparison video. Uh, let me see if I can get this camera in the exact spot here. Um, this cutaway is slightly different shaped on the Made in China versus the Made in Indonesia. I don't know if you can see that cutaway shape difference there. It's kind of a, this one kind of swoops up a little more and this one's more just a, almost a, almost a flat cutaway. And I don't know if the color consistency is different in the different manufacturing uh, places. Um, the Indonesian one is quite a bit darker and it could be wood supply. And uh, the made in China looks more like a natural bridge the made in Indonesia, that to me this looks stained or painted. Let me get these flipped over and I'll show you the backs. And obviously these are very, very different colors. Um, 
to my eye, they're supposed to be mahogany. Um, this one, this is the made in China, and that wood definitely looks like mahogany. Uh, this wood looks like mahogany. Again, is it stain or is it the wood? Uh, is it what they painted them with? It is a very obvious difference. When I first looked at this one, I, I was thinking uh, walnut. But if you get in real close, definitely looks like mahogany. Definitely a lighter color again. I don't know if that's a stain they used or or what. This is the Indonesian. And it's supposed to be mahogany, which I'm wondering if it's just something that they stained it with. But, uh, yeah, definite difference there. And let me get a, a uh, kind of a view of that cutaway from the back. Just kind of a sharper angle there versus the almost a flat cutaway. And even on the neck wood, got a darker, darker neck wood versus this lighter neck wood on the Made in China. Made in China, Made in Indonesia. The more I look at it, the more it, the more it looks like a stain to me. It's just kind of a difference. Um, the other question was uh, the electronics, and I'm I'm gonna try to get these laid down here so I can answer that question. On the electronics, the uh, both models have the Esonic two. Well, made in China, this one actually has the Esonic two HD, so I guess that makes it more high definition. See if I can zoom in on the controls there to see if there's any difference when I go to this other model. But, uh, so Made in China has the Esonic 2 HD. Now let's go over here to the Made in Indonesia. Made in Indonesia has the Esonic 2 and it's not HD so I guess the made in China model must be more high definition I don't know maybe just some wording to entice buyers into thinking it's better quality sound to answer the question, yes, the Chinese model does have the two pickups. And the uh, Indonesian model does have the two pickups. Uh, you won't find this in the newer models because I just listed five of the newer models and they just have the single jack. Um, the... Esonic 2 allows you to do stereo, and I can't remember which one, when it's, when you do the stereo, you can send the nano mag pickup to one amp, and the uh, piezo pickup to another pick, uh, another amp, so that's kind of cool. You have stereo capability on the, these these two models with the Esonic 
and that's the nano mag pickup there the shadow nano mag and that's the same on this indonesian model but the the newer um the newer ones don't have that nano mag pickup they just have the have the regular uh one one uh jack so and the next question was the weight uh the it was mentioned that the chinese models are lighter than the indonesian models so i'm going to get my scale and answer that question all right so first i'm going to get this made in china model here on my scale kind of makes me nervous because uh I don't want this to fall. I'm just gonna try to keep it from tipping over without affecting the weight on the scale as much as possible. So it looks like the Made in China is gonna be right around four pounds, 12 ounces, roughly average. Four pounds, 12 ounces. Let me get the made in Indonesia one here. Just picking it up, it does feel a little bit weightier. So make sure it's zeroed out, okay. Oh yeah. So made in Indonesia is five pounds, eight ounces. Five pounds, roughly five pounds, eight ounces. I'm trying to try to balance this as much as I can without influencing the weight here. So yeah, so made in Indonesia is about five pounds and eight ounces. Five pounds, eight, five pounds, 8.4. Let's get that made in China one back on the scale again. Yeah, I mean, just even just picking them up, you can definitely tell. Yeah, four pounds, 12 ounces. So, you're looking at about three quarters of a pound difference. So that's interesting. I mean, it definitely feels lighter. So, yeah. Made in Indonesia, made in China. It's a... Uh, could be different woods. Could be uh, different bracing woods. Hey, I have an idea. I did a did a pretty good uh, interior shot of the the uh, made in Indonesia the other day. So let's do a uh, inside the guitar comparison. See if there's some bracing things that make it heavier. Just uh, right off the bat. I was about to try to get this down on the inside of that guitar, but uh, right off the bat, if I can get, get my camera to focus, you can see the, the bracings on the Made in China uh, are rounded on top. Trying to get the camera to focus. Made in China is they're rounded on top. Made in Indonesia, they uh, kind of come to a sharp point on the top.
Okay, I was about to put the camera down on the inside to get an interior shot of the bracing and everything. And just uh, looking in the sound hole, you can see the difference in the, the bracing on the Made in China. This is the Made in China model. The bracing is rounded on top. Uh, made in Indonesia, you've got the bracing that kind of comes to a, a sharp peak on top. Uh, there's some uh, kind of angling on the uh, bracing on the Made in China. It's squared off. But let me get the camera down on the inside and take a look. Okay, so we're in the uh, Made in China one first. Hopefully this is uh, focusing okay for you. Inside a guitar. Uh, this is the made in China model. I'm just kind of trying to show the different bracing and see the this is the made in China. Has a round bracing, rounded bracing on the top. The camera staying in focus is really hard to see what I'm doing here. I don't know if it would make that much of a difference, but the uh, that those vertical bracings in there look quite a bit thinner on this Chinese model than they do on the Indonesian model, and I'll try to try to show those here but I hope that kind of gave a good idea of what the inside of this model looks like I apologize for all the shaky camera work but I'm trying to hold my phone with two fingers inside the sound hole so it's uh, let me see if I can get a little closer to one of those bracings. It's a very well made guitar. Just interesting to see the differences between the Chinese model and the Indonesian. Get a, a shot of the 
seeing if I can. It's really hard to manipulate the camera. Let's move over to the made in Indonesian model now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a interior shot of this Indonesian model now. Okay, so now we're inside the Indonesian. Uh, right off the bat, I'm seeing some bracings that are a little different color. I guess maybe they use mahogany bracings on the mahogany wood. Um, the bracing on the seam seems quite a bit more substantial. Huh, that's interesting. The bracings in the in the back that you could you really can't see are rounded, and then the ones up front that you can see are are uh, kind of come to a V on top. of the guitars. Much the same, we'll just a few slight differences. They're very well-made guitars. Kind of looks like maybe on this Indonesian model there's more of those the extra half pound to three quarters of a pound. Okay, well thanks for watching this comparison of the Made in China and the Made in Indonesia DR500 MCE guitars. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. That's the most important button that you could push is the subscribe button because I've had thousands of views this month and I just am not getting subscribers. And uh, it would be really helpful if I could get enough subscribers, I could start doing some live streams. So I would appreciate it. And uh, hit the like button. That helps my videos get more recognition uh, share the videos, make a comment down below, hit that bell notification if you want to find out when I uh, post new stuff. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll try to try to get you an answer. So uh, one of the final questions that uh, was asked is when did they move production to Indonesia from China? That I am not sure. I I don't really have any ties to any guitar manufacturers or anything like that. I have no idea. Um, I just know that uh, this one is a 2017 and it's made in Indonesia. This one's a 2018 and it's made in China. Um, the five 2020 guitars that I bought... Uh, 
are all made in Indonesia, so I'm guessing that they're all made in Indonesia now, but um, I don't know. I mean, they're both quality guitars. I, I'm sure they've got good QC and everything on them, but I uh, really don't have a preference one way or the other. Um, they're both, they both sound great. They both play great. Uh, the only, only thing that I've noticed on this made in Indonesia that I need to work on is, uh, and it, and it was a blim is I need to work on the bridge. Um, it's just not setting in the, not setting in there straight. And, uh, I need to bring that height down a little bit. I try to get a little close view here. This is the Made in Indonesia. You can see where the the bridge is, or the saddle rather, is, is kind of crooked and kind of high. Let me go over here to the Made in China one. Um, that's what it should look like. So, anyway, I mean, that's an easy fix. I just need to, need to do a little sanding on it but well thanks for watching and again please hit that subscribe button and uh that bell notification will let you know when i got new stuff up so check out my other videos and thanks for stopping by and i hope you have a good evening bye